guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another thrift haul. I've got some great stuff to show you. I mentioned it in like pretty much every video, but we are sourcing 255 items per week. And this is just a small glimpse into some of the stuff we're picking up. We do focus on a very high seltzer rate model, meaning that we expect something that we pick up. We do a lot of research into what similar items have sold for. For the most part, we expect it to sell within 90 days for the prices that I'll be saying here on the screen. So let's dive in to some of these quick sellers. If they're not quick sellers, or if I made some exceptions somewhere, I'll be sure and let you know. Here's an exception. <laughs> the first one that I pick up. This is framed denim. This used to be a really great brand to pick up, um, particularly the style as well, which are the lay high skinny jeggings. These are size 29. I've done comps on these recently. They do not have 100% sell through rate like they used to, but I picked them up because I took a chance on selling them not too long ago when I found them at the bins and they sold very quickly for $40. So I'm probably gonna price these for 35 to 40 and just get them moving quickly but there's still some people out there buying these, so I'm taking the chance on them. Next up is an airy hoodie, size large. I am experimenting with this brand, trying to figure out what to pick up in this brand, but right now I'm focusing on larger sizes. This is a really nice cropped cozy hoodie. This brand is known for like their loungewear and their oversized soft stuff. This one has some ribbing detail. Pretty nice piece, feels like it's hardly been worn. I'm probably gonna list up for 25 to 28. This is an Athleta piece. This is a really nice athletic wear brand to be on the lookout for. Not everything in this brand sells, but most of it does. This is a size large. This is a really thick sweatshirt. I need to look up the style of this because I actually don't know. It's this really beautiful mint green mock neck, very heavy, thick sweatshirt. So I'm definitely going to be looking up that style and figure that out, but definitely an awesome piece especially for $4.49. I expect that'll probably sell for about $35. Is Lululemon. I won't go too much into detail. You guys know I like picking up Lululemon, but their leggings are not going for as much as they used to, just like the skinny leggings. I'm trying to find more of like the pants, the wide leg, the joggers, which these ones are, and just different stuff in this brand that sells better than just the leggings because even though they do sell, they tend to sit longer. So that's what I'm on the hunt for right now in this brand. This is a pair of joggers. They've got some contrast details to it. Let's see, if anyone is interested, these are a size four. This is a good men's brand that I like to pick up. It is Ted Baker. This is Ted Baker London, size six zip pullover. I actually showed this exact one just in a different color in my last thrift haul. I found two of these this day. And I'm not 100% sure on how much this is going to go for, but I'm guessing about 35 to 40. Okay, this is a great bread and butter brand that I love picking up. It is packed. They make organic cotton stuff. So these are a size small pair of joggers. I've mentioned joggers before, but joggers right now super in where it tapers at the leg. These are also a waffle knit, which is definitely going to up the value. People love waffle knit. So I don't know if these are men's or women's, but I looked up packed organic cotton joggers and then added the keyword waffle. And some of these were selling for close to $40. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I'll probably price mine a little lower at like 35, just given the smaller size, but definitely something worth looking into. Next up is another Athleta piece, size extra small. This is just a camo t-shirt. I normally wouldn't pick up something like this. However, this, I checked the tag on the inside and it is a more recent style. So if you didn't know, it tells you down here, like when it was created, this was created, uh, spring 21 is what it says. So very recent style, which I'm only going to sell this for $25, but recent styles in this brand perform really good is one of my all-time favorite men's wear brands to sell. It is John Barbados. The stuff sells so quickly and even their t-shirts sell for really good money. This is a men's size extra large. Because this is kind of grungy looking, this should also help to sell it. Also the larger size, I would expect to get anywhere from 30 to $35 for this one, which is crazy for a pre-owned t-shirt. But yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love this brand. This next one is more for like the spring and summertime, but I am trying to pick up those items now. This is Tommy Bahama. This is a women's size medium. It's a pretty substantial piece. It is a maxi length dress, very long length. 
really pretty like leaf print pattern to this, almost tie-dye in a way. It does have a little clasp here. Probably going to sell this for about 35 to 40. I like being at this brand in the men's department. This is Vince. This is a size extra large men's Henley. If you guys didn't know, Henley styles are really popular right now. It's this three button closure here, makes it a Henley. And Henleys, in my opinion, add value. If you're looking at a plain t-shirt versus one like this, you're definitely gonna get more for the Henley. So I'm on the hunt for Henleys. This one I think I should be able to sell for 28 to 30. This, I pick up everything in. This is Eileen Fisher. This is a women's size medium. Nice cardigan. Kind of longer length. Nice white color. Let's see, this is organic linen, organic cotton. Anytime you have special materials in this brand, you're definitely going to see an increase in what you can get for it. Um, I think this one I should be able to get about 35 to 44 linen and organic cottons in this brand do really well. Such a soft sweatshirt. I've never heard of this brand before. It is Tavi. So I did a comp on this. It wasn't 100%, but it was pretty close. But the quality feel of this sweatshirt is really good. And the ones that were selling were selling for quite a bit. I think I can get 35 for this. Just a very high quality luxury feeling sweatshirt and it does have some fleece on the inside. If you guys know anything about this brand, please let me know because I was really interested to learn more about that. These are a pair of Athleta Elation textured 7, 8 tights, size small. I'm reading it because I know you're not going to be able to see it. Nice print. I love picking up Athleta. This is probably 25 bucks. Same thing with this, another Athleta piece, different prints, 25 bucks. This one is pretty cool. This is a soft surroundings, women's size large sweater. Now, if you didn't know, the higher in size you go in soft surroundings, when you're doing comps, you're going to see a huge increase in sell-through rate. And so I do try to focus on larger sizes in this brand. So it's just a plus for me that this is a size large, but it's also a pretty substantial piece. Really nice multicolor sweater. And I believe, let's see what this is made out of. Oh, it does not say. I would have to guess though, it is probably a mohair blend, but we are going to have to note that in to our listing. Either way, soft surroundings, large sweaters are gonna do pretty good. I should be able to get 30 to 35. This I picked up just on style. I almost never get this brand. It is Sioni, but it's a size extra large. And I just thought that the multicolor um, knit and the aesthetic of this was very trendy. So it's got, some like neutrals and then randomly it has some stripes of multicolor. I just thought this was very striking. I've been trying to trust my gut on a lot of things and it's really worked out. It's also got some tassel tie details here. I'm going to list this for 25 to 30. This was a great find this day. I almost never find this brand. So when I do find it, I'm like, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to get it. So this is for Love and Lemons. This is a great brand to be on the lookout for, especially in dresses. This one, unfortunately, is a size extra, extra small, which is not a very popular size. However, I decided I was still going to get it because like I said, almost never find this brand. And it is really cute. It is a rose print kind of corsety looking dress and I think I estimated I should be able to get about somewhere between 50 and 75. I'm probably going to go on the lower end with 50 on this just because of the small size but for Love and Lemons can be a really great brand to pick up. This is a Lucky Brand cardigan. This is a size 1x which is the main reason I got it. Plus size in this brand is really what sells but it's also a western bohemian open cardigan with some nice um, embroidery. I need to do comps on this, but I'll, I would say I would get probably between 25 and 30 for that. This one I got just for like the colors too. This is a vintage gap sweater, size small. This is 100% wool. It is a women's, I'm gonna label it as women's, oversized sweater. And it's got this really cute like off center pocket here. I just thought this would do really well on Depop, maybe even eBay, but I thought it was really good. Again, trusting my gut with more pieces and it's paying off. This was a pretty cool find as well. I just love all the colors <laughs> that I've been finding. So this is a Maeve by Anthropology. It is a size extra small, which I've said in the past, but I try to stick to larger sizes 
but this is an alpaca blend cardigan substantial piece and I could not pass up the colors of this one it is a longer length cardigan with some really interesting pattern and colors to it anything different in this brand is always like in any anthropology line is usually a bolo so I'm getting it despite the small size and we'll see how it does this one also has really cute bishop sleeves so another interesting factor to it this is another Eileen Fisher. Like I said, I pick up almost everything in this brand. This is a size small, just women's plain, longer length, long sleeve round top. Even this should go for $25 to $30, which I know is crazy, but that is a really good performing brand for me. So I pick it up in everything. Here's another Athleta piece. This is a more modern one. It is a very sheer long sleeve white crop top, probably 20 to 25 for that. And lastly is this Joie sweater. This is a brand I don't get a lot of unless there are other factors that can help pull the sale through. It does retail for a lot, but not typically a high sell-through rate brand. But this one was a cotton cashmere camo sweater. Again, trusting my gut with a lot of things and it's paying off. So I'm trusting my gut with this one and all the factors stacking. I'm going to list this for probably 28 to 30. All right, guys. So that's it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Hope that you learned some new brands and styles. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I post content. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.